Hey, my friends. So I'm thinking today about the story of Joseph with his brothers and how the brothers are finally discovering that this second in command in Egypt is actually their brother. And um, he tells them, he says, Ani Yosef, I am Joseph. And like, they don't know how to respond. Like they, I'm sure it took them a while um, to process the thoughts of what was happening there and probably um, quite scared them because they realize that this man who they had betrayed basically and sold into Egypt is now standing before them with a ton of power that he could bring down on their heads with no problem. However, it seems that Yosef is operating in complete immuna the entire time. Like his personal comfort was not what he was really concerned about because he says, look, it wasn't you that did this. It was God that sent me here. And he did that for a reason. And basic level Amuna is to realize that there is a creator in the world and that he operates everything. And then you learn that he does everything for the good and then ha that he does everything for the good and for a purpose. And then we learn that our job is to figure out what that purpose is for. And sometimes it's, it seems difficult occasionally to have real Amuna stories in our own lives. And I was thinking this past week, something happened to me. I went to the grocery store and I pull into a parking space and there was somebody that was parked in the next parking space over. So I had to be, you know, a little bit like to the outside of the parking space. I, I think I was still in, but maybe like right on the line, right? So I go in the grocery store and I come back out and there's a note on my windshield. And the note uh, is uh, saying that I needed to learn how to park, but they weren't uh, very nice about how to say it. So the first thing in my head was, well, the reason that I parked that way was because, you know, there was a car beside me. Um, and then I, I thought to myself as I was driving, you know, I, I grabbed a sign and I just kind of smiled and I was like, you know what, it's fine. Um, no big deal, right? Uh, and I tore up the note and then I was driving away and the thought crossed my head, my mind, like, what would I have done had I encountered the person leaving the note? Like if I would have walked out of the grocery store and they're placing the note on my windshield and had I, you know, met them, what would have been my response? And I was kind of like very thankful, one, that that didn't happen because I didn't want to have to deal with that. And two, I was, I was thankful that, that God had allowed me to think about what my response would have been because I really don't think my response would have been very good. And my response was, you know, I think it was fine uh, because I learned quickly uh, to recover. And the faster and faster I recover from difficult situations, I think it seems like I'm growing more in my Amuna because I'm able to um, you know, change my mindset faster and faster rather than reacting um, out of anger or whatever. So the quicker I can uh, not react, even if I react in anger, the quicker I can be like, oh, that was, a, that was, that was wrong. The fa that seems like I'm growing because I, it's, it's sooner and sooner that I recognize the lack of Amuna. So as I'm driving away, I'm, I'm like thinking, thanking God that I didn't actually encounter the person leaving the note because I don't feel like my response would have been very good. So I realized that the concept of the world being a mirror was actually happening in my life. So the world around you can show you what you need to work on whenever you see uh, something in another person that bugs you, it's likely because you have that issue within yourself and that's something that you need to work on. And if there was nothing that you needed to work on, that issue likely would not have bothered you. Um, and I, I think kind of what that means is like, had I seen the note and I would have, you know, doesn't matter, had I ran into that person um, and then would have been able to just smile and move on, uh, then maybe that stuff wouldn't bother me. But, but the realization that uh, I probably would have had a pretty bad um, interaction with that person 
gave me the opportunity then to see it. So I'm like, I'm envisioning my interaction and I'm, and I'm seeing that in a mirror almost and realizing where I was lacking, where I'm lacking in Amuna, where I'm still lacking in that. Um, and it gives me an opportunity to, to begin to explore deeper into myself as to why uh, I would have had such a horrible response to that. And um, I was very thankful uh, for that opportunity. So I guess what I, the moral of the story, if I'm going to try to put all of that together for you, is that, you know, the world around you is a mirror. And somehow Joseph was able to um, experience many, many difficulties and continue to believe with complete faith that the creator was actually doing something good in his life. Like instead of responding with harsh decrees and anger and sadness and depression from his horrible state um, of being in prison and uh, slavery and prison and all of that, uh, he's, he's, he's still responding with, you know, this is what God wants. It's all for the good. It all serves to be my benefit, and there's a reason behind it. And eventually, I'll probably know. And even if I don't know, I, I know that I trust Hashem. We, we all need that, right? We all need to be able to trust the Creator 100 and 